Proverbs 14, 12 tells us, there is a way that seems right unto a man, but in the end thereof, it leads to death. Or another translation says destruction, right? So sometimes we're living this life frustrated because we're taking the pen of life that God supposed to have in his hand, right? Trying to write and create our own life story, trying to write and create our own narrative in this life instead of following after the one who is the true source of life, right? And the game plan, the life plan that he has laid out for us. So I challenge you, take your hand off the pen of life and allow him, the person who is the creator, the source of the pen anyway, the source of life anyway, to do what he do best, right? He said in Jeremiah 1, 5, he said that before I formed you in the belly, I knew you and I sanctified you. That means I set you apart for a purpose, for God's intended purpose, right? And you know what? He is the potter and we are the clay. So who are we to be trying to tell the potter what the clay should be, where the clay should go, what the clay should be doing, what the clay should look like, right? Because all those things bring about frustration. Well, God, I don't think this is where I'm supposed to be. Uh-uh. But God said like, no, nah, I got you here for a reason. Man, look, I'm supposed to look like this. And then we go change this and we change that about ourselves thinking it's going to make us happy. And in reality, you end up frustrated because we are out here trying to tell God as if we're wiser than him what we should be, what, what we should be doing, how our lives should be, right? The moment I took my hand off that pen, trying to write my own life story, trying to write my own love story, trying to write my own story in this life, man, my life changed for the better, right? I no longer live life frustrated, you know, discontent, even discombobulated, full of chaos and drama and just wicked stuff, right? I went from that place to living a life of just, you know, like, peace, not perfection, peace and joy and just life, you know, like the abundant life that the Lord talks about in his word. He says in second Peter one, verse three, he said that he has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness in the true knowledge of him, right? Once I came to know God for myself, not what somebody told me, not what I had heard, but I surrendered unto God for myself. And I said, you know what, God, Take my life and do something with it. Make me usable for your glory. When I tell you those words were powerful because I didn't just say them, but I meant them. And when I say the frustration ceased because I was no longer trying to force things to happen, right? Give God the pen back and stop trying to write your own love story. Stop trying to write your own life story. Stop trying to write your own career story. Stop trying to write your own story and allow God who already knew from the very beginning what you were supposed to do with your life, where you were supposed to be in life and who you are, your purpose in this life. Allow him to take the pen back because he's already written your life story, right? And just flow with him in the truth of his word, in the truth of who he say you is, right? So that also means that you're going to have to get in the word and find out what he says about you, who he say you are, what he say is yours, right? So that you can actually possess Take hold of what he says is yours by grace through faith because you're going to walk with him. You're going to talk with him. You're going to follow him in the path that he has laid out for your life, right? Proverbs 3, 5 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean upon your own understanding. And verse 6 says, and in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths, right? So instead of us trying to figure this life out and live in a chaotic, frustrated life, let go and allow God to be the one who figure it out for you because he's already figured it out, right? He can do better with it than you can, than what I can, right? And acknowledge him in all your ways, like an intimate knowledge of God, like a personal knowledge of God, just like you know your bestie, just like you know yourself, just like you may know your husband for those who are married. God knows you way better than that, but get to know him on that level that you know your bestie and allow him to be your bestie of besties directing the path of your life. And I can guarantee you, like I said, that frustration will dissipate. I'm not saying you're going to walk a perfect life. I'm not saying that you're going to walk a life free of problems, free of troubles. What I'm saying is you won't live a life frustrated. You'll know that your peace, that your happiness is found in him and in the truth of his word. And you'll choose that path instead of a chaotic path full of chaos and discord and division and strife and frustration. You'll no longer be cussing those people out, sis, that you used to cuss out. You'll just let it go. Let it roll off your back like water, honey. You'll let it go. And you'll say, you know what? God got it because you're no longer trying to do it on your own. 
Give God the pen back, sis. Give God the pen back, bro, and allow him to direct your life. I guarantee you that frustration will cease.